Hello, I'm going to read you a book called Stars and Planets. So this may be a two-part book. I may not read it all at one time. Amazing Space. We live in a place called the universe. What's in the universe? Everything. You, your pets, and your house are in the universe. Our planet called Earth is in the universe. Beyond our planet, there are other planets, along with stars, moons, and much more. Here's the simple rule. If something exists, living or non-living, it's part of the universe. Of course, there are gaps between these objects. The gaps are called space. Let's check out some of the amazing things floating through space. Our solar system. So there's the planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, Earth where we live, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our small part of the universe is called the solar system. It's like our neighborhood. A hot star, which is our sun, sits right in the middle of the solar system. Planets go around and around the sun in circles called orbits. Lots of other things, including comets and asteroids, orbit the sun too. It's a busy neighborhood. The solar system is held together by a force called gravity. Most of this gravity comes from the sun. The sun pulls hard. It pulls everything inward and stops stuff from drifting off into space. It is really, really good at keeping things together. So there. Yeah. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Sun. The sun is the only star in our solar system. It is a big, hot gas ball that blasts heat and light in all directions. Without this heat and light, our solar system would be cold and dark. The sun is humongous. It is about 864,938,000 ,000 miles across. That is much bigger than our planet. You can fit more than 1 million Earths into the sun. That's how big the sun is. The sun is also very hot. It is a blistering 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on its surface. Inside, things are even hotter. The sun's center reaches about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. That's hot. The inner planets. Planets are large, round bodies of rock that orbit a sun. Our solar system has eight planets. Some of them are very far away from the sun. Others are closer. The four planets closest to the sun are called the inner planets. Earth is in this group. Remember Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. The other three planets in the group are like our next door neighbors. All four inner planets are small and rocky. Let's take a peek at our planetary paths. So Mercury is the closest planet to the sun and it's fast. It dips around the sun in just 88 days. Mercury is hot stuff. Its surface can be up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is about the same size as Earth. It is covered by a thick blanket of clouds, warm and cozy. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. The surface is a swirl of blue, green, brown, and white. These colors come from water, plants, soil, and sand, ice, and clouds. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It's rusty. It is covered with red-brown dirt that has the same chemicals as rust and blood. Mars could use a little bath. Earth. Earth is our home planet, our home sweet home. Earth is pretty awesome. It is the only planet in our solar system with open bodies of water. It is also the only planet with oxygen-rich air and known to have life. That makes Earth very special in our solar system and maybe even in the whole universe. Scientists have looked and looked, but they have not found life anywhere else yet. Life is like, like humans and animals. Earth is sometimes called a Goldilocks planet because it is just right for life. Not too hot, not too cold. Earth is more than three, four, Earth is more than 4.5 billion years old. And then you have the gas planet. So we're going to do that in the next part of the story. So we're going to be doing Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. We're going to be making a project with that and then we'll go on to the gas planet. Have a great day.